everyone, how's it going? And today we're going to be making another tutorial, this time on this glowing ambient um, particle effect. And this one's really simple to create, and I'm going to first be creating it using only the default particles that are included with Unity, and then after that I'm just going to switch over the material to use something from my Inferno VFX particle pack, which is absolutely free. You can download it from the Unity Asset Store and follow along that way if you want. With Inferno VFX, you're not only going to get uh, this tutorial included as the download uh, for free, you'll also get uh, some other demo scenes that are available, and you can check those out to see how to make cool, just use particles in a creative way. So, for example, this animated menu, again, it's going to be included with the pack. Uh, this other scene here for fire. So you can, again, download that for free on the Unity Asset Store. Just search up Inferno VFX in this little search bar here. And you should get it as the first result. Okay, so to get started, uh, I'm just going to create a new empty game object, Control shift n that's a shortcut. I'm going to call it Particles. And then in this, I'm going to create a new Particle System. Start size down. You can see it's kind of throwing the particles back there, and that's because of the shape, which I'm going to change to box. And create. I'm going to check on random direction. Turn this start speed to zero for now. I'm just going to expand this so it fills uh, more or less of the plane that you see below, below it. Move this up. And then I'm going to turn the size up to 1, set it to random between 2 constant, set it to 0.5 and 1. And then it looks okay, but it's just kind of snapping in and out, so I'm going to have it fade in and out by turning on the color over lifetime module, setting the alpha here to 0, setting the alpha here to 0, clicking in the middle, and setting the alpha there to maximum, so it fades in and fades out. So we got more or less the effect we, uh, we want. We want some sort of random uh, scattering of the particles, so we can just turn the start speed up. In fact, we can just make this random between two constants. That should get the effect that we want. Uh, then we can color it. Set between random between two constants. So you can get some pretty wild looking uh, this way. Okay. And so if you were just going to use the default particles, you could leave it here but and then maybe turn the size down a bit because they're way too big. Um, or if you have, if you've downloaded this, again, it's free, uh, from the Asset Store. And it's actually really cool because you can make a bunch of different sort of fire-based particles, particle effects with this. So you can check it out. Uh, so yeah, for, if you have that, you can just search up uh, Glow Sphere in your materials. And we're going to use Glow Sphere. Any one of these are fine, but I'm going to use Glow Sphere Alpha. And that way, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, for a little bit more tweaking, you can change the size over lifetime, have it fade in and out. So just Click somewhere in the center and then drag both of these down. Let's change the tangents. Make, this bit, uh, make the emission rate higher. And that's it, there you go. You can turn on pre warm so that it starts up immediately. And you can have this uh, follow your character character along in the game world, for example. Uh, in that case, what you'd want to do is change the simulation space to world space so it doesn't immediately follow along, but rather the emitter follows you and it leaves a trail of particles as uh, your player is walking about the game world. Alright, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you learned something, and uh, see you later.